insisted that I start using more footwork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's just go through Harvard. That, by the time you were a senior, what, how were you doing? Were you, how would you well, do in the IFAs? And, uh, and I was very good with the flesh, uh -huh. and uh, so I was doing very well with the foil. What happened, though, in my senior year was that uh, the uh, two guys on the uh, Sabre team were laid low by um, uh, some kind of disease. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Randy Peroy shifted me over to Sabre. So you've had Sabre in your senior year. And, so, and, and, and he allowed me, he said, I'm only going to teach you a couple of simple things because I don't want to mess up your foil game. Mm -hmm. But these are the things you do with the Sabre. And he showed me, and then he said, and you can also flesh, you can also run with the saber. Huh, interesting. And so um, I did very well with the saber, yeah. uh, considering that um, I hadn't really had much training in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So after you left Harvard, you went to the, the, the New York Athletic Club, right. and you went back to foil right away. I went back to foil right away. Do you feel yes. that there was, fencing the saber gave you any insights that you, you brought back to the foil? Uh, the well, fencing the saber... Uh, you started fleshing then? Was I started that fleshing then, and uh, I, well, I was already fleshing when I was in my uh, senior year in, in college, but mm -hmm. just very limited. Mm -hmm. And um, and I did a lot more after I after I joined the um, New York Athletic Club, and um, it was um, it was a pretty good game because if you could uh, if, if you could match the other guy's tempo, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden break it with a flesh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know. a lot of times you would get the touch. At that time, they were also introducing the um, electrical foil. Mm -hmm. And uh, is this with a lame and the, the, the lame mm -hmm. and the electrical foil, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, I was learning how to use those as well. That sort of like, did you think about fencing differently now with the electrical? Did you find a lot of people were changing the game? A lot of people were changing the games. Yeah. Yes. So yes. it was a very. very the idea was to make that make that machine sound off. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind making a pretty touch. <laughs> so, so when you left Harvard, um, you decided to go to New York. Was the attraction in New York the athletic club, or were you just going to New York and were well, you really I eager I, to get to continue your fencing? I wanted to continue fencing, and, and uh, a previous captain of the Harvard team was on the New York athletic club team, and I he see. put me up to the New York athletic club, and they accepted me. And so uh, I started fencing for them and getting my lessons there. Uh -huh. As I say, Odon Niederkirchner insisted that we move around a lot more than we did in right. college. And did you train, um, did you do a lot more footwork or was it in we a lesson a or was it, did, were there, were there, did, they, did you all get together and do footwork together? No, you were expected to go and do your footwork on your own at the New York Athletic Club. Yeah. And, but you had to do it. Mm -hmm. You didn't get a lesson unless you did it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so, um, yeah, we did our footwork and uh, working against the wall and so on and taking turns, yeah. hitting one another with different moves. Oh, okay. Um, I just wanted to touch, I just wanted to go back quickly to Harvard, the, the sort of last bits of Harvard mm -hmm. before we move on to the athletic club. Um, uh, your, your freshman year you were learning, your sophomore year you were on the varsity team, Correct. you're still developing. And then your junior Pretty year... Pretty largely a substitute in my second year. <laughs> you're a substitute. And your third year now is junior, you sort of really came forward in the foil. Mm -hmm. And were you the number one fencer on Harvard? No, I wasn't the number one fencer. Yeah. Uh, Joe Vera was the number one fencer. Yeah. And uh, uh, how was Harvard in terms of the other schools in the IFA, say, or in the nation? Was At that, that time? Yeah. At that time, we used to beat um, Yale fairly consistently. Uh, we were losing to Columbia fairly consistently also, mm -hmm. but we were fairly even with uh, Princeton. Mm -hmm. as, as far as the other schools were concerned, whenever we met them, we seemed to beat them. So this is most of the other Ivy schools or any other schools? Well, yeah. the other Ivy school, the only other Ivy school was uh, University of Pennsylvania. Yeah. And uh, we were sort of trading even with them. Who were the sort Columbia of... Columbia was clearly the, the, the superior one at that time. Yeah. Yeah. And um, in the nation, was Columbia sort of the big at school? At that time, yeah. they, were, they, they were number one, yes. So you went to the IFAs, you were on the foil team. Was it a three-man foil team, three-man for each weapon? 
No. The IFAs at that time? Uh, at, the, at the IFAs, it was a three-man uh, uh, three team, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and how did you guys do at the IFAs? You were fencing in the second slot? Uh, yeah, I was fencing in the second slot, and um, I failed to qualify to the finals, the finals of six. Yeah. It was only a final of six. Yeah. And uh, was there a team? Was there a team ranking, or was it just an individual? Yes, we uh, we came in around uh, second or third usually. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then your so and then your senior year. Um, mm -hmm. When did uh, 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 Rene Perroy change you over to Saber? He was switched me over to Saber when we had about uh, when we were about halfway through the season. Uh huh. And uh, there was, I said earlier, there were a number of uh, injuries and illnesses yeah, all of yeah, a sudden with the yeah. Sabre squad. And so I became the number two Sabre man. Uh -huh. and, um, and then you fenced Sabre at the IFAs? And, and I fenced Sabre at the IFAs, right. And uh, uh, the one time he had me fence foil was in our final uh, match against Yale. I see. Uh, and then he let me fence foil there. And uh, that, that was really interesting because uh, in that final match against Boyle, against Yale, um, I won all three of my bouts without a single touch being scored. Oh my uh, God! And yeah. the Yale coach, uh, in front of the whole Yale team, uh, went and got me a brand new mask and a brand new glove and made a presentation to me in honor of the event. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. So you were really you were the top foilsman at Harvard at that time. At that really. time, I was yeah. the top foilsman. And he put you into Saber because he just had because of yours. Your well, I had a very I had an excellent yeah. flesh at the time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It, 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 yeah. yeah. For, against certain types of fencers, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> in yeah, in yeah. the yeah. IFAs, it didn't work as well because yeah. there were some seasoned Saber men there, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I didn't really know what I was doing with the Saber, frankly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so then you graduated and you were down to New York. Mm -hmm. Athletic Club. Now, I just want to touch base. What does Natalie come involved? Did you meet Natalie in Harvard? In our freshman year. In your yes. freshman year, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, around her junior year, uh -huh. I taught her how to fence. Oh, really? She wanted to learn how to fence. <laughs> yeah. 